hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today i'm here with a place further than the universe episode number four okay the previous episode we got our fourth and the final member of our team she is her name is um uh shiraishi yuzuki yeah i think that was her name and she is a child actress uh who has been like you know in this uh what do you call it in, in this celebrity you know business for from like a very young age her mom is her manager and you know that's why she is always like you know like due to her job she cannot hang out with her friends like you know talk with people make make normal friends like normal you know like normal children do she cannot do that because obvi obviously like you know like because she's in the actress like she's an actress she has to you know always i'm guessing like you know go for rehearsals and stuff and a lot of other job related things so like normal people normal kids do they cannot hang out he she cannot hang out and she tries making friends but all most of the time it fails and we saw her in this in the previous episode as well trying to make two friends but unfortunately they also try to make you know become friends with her but unfortunately it did not work out by the end of it and she you know sure that's why she was actually not like you know so keen on going to antarctica because she was uh, chosen to be one of the civilians who's going to accompany uh, you know the expedition team and she she did not like that she 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 went to the our to our girls and told them that yeah you take my place but obviously that's not that easy uh, her mom gave them a counter proposal she said that if you are able to um, like you know like convince her i will see that you guys also can accompany us and that's like one of the best uh you know uh what can i say opportunities that they could get they like you know try to convince her <coughs> and <coughs> she actually realizes that these girls are also not friends for much longer she thought that they have been friends for like from childhood or something because the way they are so easy with each other you know they're so comfortable with each other so by the end of it she realizes that yeah this is like you know like i'm then they, they're, they're uh, like and i can become friends with them and that's why she was like all right i'll go if and only if they accompany us it's all it all worked out you know her mom also kind of gave them the proposal that yeah if you are able to convince her we'll take you so yeah everything's worked out well we have a very like you know concrete uh what can i say like you know like a, a way to actually go now it's not uh vague we have a proper way we can go now it's confirmed now there are a few like you know i guess preparations left to do which i'm sure we're going to see in this episode so let's see what happens here um so yeah this is the fourth episode of a place further than the universe i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one go <coughs> comprehensive Okay. All right, there you go. Well, okay, leave them. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Actions better than words. <laughs> all right like the whole prospect of like you know high schoolers uh going to antarctica is like very what can i say like unbelievable so like them actually like you know laughing at them and making fun of them is something that i think most people would actually do they would be like ha you're you're just dreaming or oh this is impossible you cannot you know it's impossible to do something like this like because this in itself is such a what can i say like unbelievable thing they're, they're basically high school kids and them going to antarctica so yeah that's why shirasa said that we do it we show them and that's when we'll laugh <laughs> Mm -hmm. And yeah, actions speak louder than words, as they say. All right.
<clears throat> All right, let's see. Fourth catamaran Super Bowl. <laughs> she does his face. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> she has not asked, I think. Oh my god. Yeah, you need to do that first. <laughs> She's in a good mood. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Okay. She she seems in a seems in a good mood. Oh. <laughs> Does she know? No, no, she doesn't know. <laughs> I don't think she knows. Coincidence, yes. How is she going to tell this to her mom? Um Oh boy. I think she... Wait, she knows. Oh no. Or, or maybe not. Which she knows. Oh no. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god! Ditch. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh, okay. <laughs> well yeah that's true you know <coughs> but still she has to do it <coughs> like the reverse is even worse you know like if you don't do anything and see that yeah everything's happening that's even a worse feeling <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Uh I don't think Oh yeah, true. All right, there. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah.
Okay, what is Oh, it's like Who's this? <laughs> oh, is, is this one of those girls we saw before? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is that girl no, who we saw in the yeah, in the previous episode. Oh, okay. All right, that's good. Sponsor required. <laughs> okay, that's that's a good method, I guess. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay. Wow, there's a lot of things here. This is what she does his face. No permanent inheritance, yeah. It's divided, isn't it? <clears throat> like in different like different countries have like different parts as far as I know. Okay, the team captain. <clears throat> you know, sir? Oh, this lady. Todo Gin. The members of our. Okay, that's good. <laughs> yes always follow oh, okay common sense she knows her we saw her looking at a picture i think in the previous episode okay okay <clears throat> <laughs> yeah wait did she like go oh. <laughs> There you go, she knows her. Well, that's why she kind of, like, kind of focused on that, that I'll, I'll treat every one of you the same. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> oh, this is the first time. Okay. 
Well, obviously, you're going to Antarctica. You need to. I don't think so. Yeah, it's every place is like same. Hmm. Exactly. Okay, and 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 the intervals as well. You know, like how much interval. Okay. Interesting, like the way they do it. It's like a zigzag pattern. Okay. We need the act, the compass and everything. We need to use them. No. <laughs> All right. Southwest. <laughs> What? That's very... Oh, is that how... That's very close, isn't it? Or... <laughs> no, you're... Oh boy. And there you go. Yes. Huh. <laughs> okay. Mm, yeah. <laughs> what? Hmm. <clears throat> All right. Wow. All right. Okay, now check the... Okay. <laughs> All right. Compass. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh boy, she is too excited. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Bitch, <laughs> I'm talking. <laughs> yeah, it's too early, I think, for them to, like, you know, actually fall asleep. Um. And <laughs> there you go, I was just. I just said that. <laughs> That's a very elegant way of saying. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, there you go. Well, obviously, yeah, the way he was, she was behaving. <clears throat> Hmm. 
An acquaintance of her mom or friend. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, all right. Uh. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, like nowadays, like you know, skies like this are cannot be seen at all because of pollution and like you know everything. But in villages and I think it's like these type of okay anyways. Regular chicken, okay. Wow, she's quite professional in <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. Two mom. <sighs> well. Wow, it's quite cold here. <laughs> Just look at it. <laughs> it's cold outside. Oh, is that she has it? No, who's that? Is it, that's the captain, yeah. Gin, I think that was her name. Oh, I think it's a sunrise, isn't it? Oh my god. Sunrise, most probably. Yeah, there you go. Strange. Okay. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. It has to be Antarctica, yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Wow. South Star. <laughs> shaved ice? <laughs> Eating shaved ice in Antarctica? That's... All right, there you go. That's 
the end okay so um it does make sense i was thinking what they're going to do how they're going to do the preparations they're like going through like a mock training i, I think that's what it is like they call it the summer something summer activity or something like that um so now like you know here we are going to learn of what we are going to do in antarctica you know the different it's like a uh what do you call it a, a mock training so yeah i was thinking like aren't they going to like do some kind of um training like this like what we are supposed to do when we are in antarctica because we don't know anything and there you go this episode like shows us that what you know like like we are going through the training i'm i'm guessing in the next episode will also be a little bit of more training because i don't know let's see let's let's wait for the next episode All right, that's the end, or is there something? Oh, there's still something left. <laughs> oh, she she sent picture to her. Okay. All right. Wow, another nice episode. Um, okay, so here in the beginning of the episode, we see how like you know like how she, obviously like you know um, Mari is all excited. She's like, oh, we're going to Antarctica, and people are kind of looking at them weirdly and like people are making fun of them and everything now here's the thing um first of all uh this whole thing of like you know as i said like you know like high school girls going to antarctica in itself is something that is very unheard of and obviously people are going to uh you know like make fun of them because you're not supposed to but there are people like this you know who who listen to something and like you know they're like ah look at them they're just you know like uh, saying stuff like they're going to antarctica like it's impossible like it's something like that like because this is unheard of and some people just keep quiet about this some people uh like you know kind of judge them or make fun of them in their mind and some people are vocal about it that's just it and there are also some people who like you know who are your close friends and everything they they support you that's how it's basically going to go. Go. So obviously, uh, Mari has her, her friend. I don't remember her name. Uh, the friend that she talks with. Uh, just a sec. Like she has her friend. That friend. So she. Um, just a sec. I'm trying to find out her name. What's her name? Megumi. Yeah, Megumi uh megumi uh she is one of those characters who is going to support her uh even though she doesn't isn't vocal about it she's going to support her uh and while all the other characters as we see you know like who miss like you know who heard her like they're like making fun of them some people are just like you know not, not saying anything but in their mind they're like you know skeptical about that whole thing so yeah like nothing you can do about it that's why shirasa said that uh obviously we do nothing you know talking with them is a waste of time we actually do it and that's when we are going to show them yeah like look look now who's laughing and yes okay so that was that and then we get to the um main thing is asking the school for permission and um asking your parents or guardians for permission oh boy <laughs> okay first of all the teacher he kind of accepted it really quickly i was not expecting that i thought he was going to ask a lot of other questions i think he probably saw the like you know like uh the application of giving permission and he was like all right fine he took permission from his parents so it's okay uh but i thought like you know that the teacher would be like also be like very skeptical about it or everything i don't know like i was i was quite surprised that he didn't say much <laughs> But anyways, okay, okay, one thing I need to check out over here. Uh, uh, 
Okay. Uh, okay. Here we go. Uh, I was I was uh, checking. I'm checking the uh, the the application that Shirasa gave it to him. Uh, I hereby grant permission as guardian of your student, Kovic Zawa Shirase, for them to take the following time off. Students class year 2, class 2, student name Kovic Zawa Shirase, guardian name Kovic Zawa Koumi. I'm guessing that's her grandma. To join the civilian Antarctic expedition challenge for Antarctic team and um, blah blah blah. Okay. Alright, there you go. Uh, I guess for looking at the, you know, like this ap application, the teacher was like, alright, you already gave permission, I guess it's fine. <clears throat> but it's, I'm, I'm kind of surprised I thought he was going to ask more stuff and everything but he just didn't do like ask anything that's kind of I have to say that's this that's nice like I was thinking the teachers would also be skeptical and you know like ask them questions and stuff it's nice to see that you know like he's not that much you know what can I say the like questioning things and everything unlike the students but yeah anyways it's good Okay, and then the big question comes out. He asks uh, Mari that, did you ask your parent? And she, she's like, oh, okay, like I need to do that. <laughs> and okay, the next scene was fan, like, you know, funny as hell. Um, <laughs> the mom was just, that was, um, <laughs> this is a very relatable scene, you know, like, um, the mom was like, you know, standing in the kitchen, like cutting, <laughs> cutting a carrot. And the two sisters, they're like, wait a minute, like, does she know or does she doesn't know? And there's like all hints, like, scattered around. There's like an Antarctica, like, what thing? Uh, what is that? He's like Antarctica. Medicinal bath salts, yeah. <laughs> so, I guess she bought that deliberately. <laughs> That's funny, you know, like, <laughs> she bought that deliberately because she she knew that she, like you know mari was planning something and she did not say it to her mom that's why the mom brought that my god that's scary <laughs> but then like you know like i was kind of thinking i was like does she know or does she doesn't know similar to mari mari was also like thinking about it like she was not you know turning around just quietly looking forward and just cutting the you know um the, the vegetables that she was cutting and it was like my god that was like a scene and then we actually realized that, yeah, she does know. She heard it from the neighbor, I think she said. <laughs> and she is pissed, obviously. You know, like, first of all, she kind of wrote the application herself, gave the stamp herself, did not tell her, you know, or ask her for permission. And it's like, you know, like, and, and now she's coming to tell her. Like, <laughs> she was pissed. And that's why she, she's and <laughs> Mari's like, okay, I, I thought that, you know, like everything should be like, you know, confirmed. Then I'm going to tell you this and that she's making excuses. And the mom just like, you know, silently takes that, reads it, asks her where, why, like, you know, why did you not tell me? And why, like, you know, like uh, who, who wrote this, who wrote the application and who gave the stamps and my God. And okay. <laughs> the application i hereby grant permission as oh my god she wrote that herself she didn't even tell her mom <laughs> i hereby grant permission as a guardian of your student tamaki mari for them to take following time of student class two three tamaki mari tamaki yoko to join oh my god well <laughs> and yeah she was rightfully pissed she just brought the the, the uh, what is it called the ladle or something i'm not sure what it is called the thing that you use to cook that thing <laughs> and she's like yeah you're going to have a bad time today and then, then the dad <laughs> nah, i'm suspecting of everything comes in and he's like oh my god something's happening i should probably stay out for now you know like i don't want to get in <laughs> and just just closes the door and is like holding the door and Ah, that was, that was, that was a great, uh, that was one of the funniest scenes. Ah, oh, fantastic. <clears throat> okay, uh, okay, I need to read this part. Um, the next part. Okay, uh, all right, now I can't go unless I pass every single test. Okay. And if, even without that, I won't have any time to study during our training camp. 
Okay, I understand now. I wasn't able to uh, keep up with this part. So I guess her mom told her that you need to pass every single test after this if you want to go. And Mari is concerned because first of all, like, you know, like she needs to go to the training camp and she won't be able to study at that time. Number two, she needs to go to her part time as well. So my God, so she needs to pass everything. She needs to study. She needs to go to part time. She needs to go to training camp. And she needs to pass every subject. Otherwise, she won't. Okay. Well. Ah. Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> that that that's a difficult situation, I guess. Okay. All right. So. <laughs> okay. The next scene. Uh, she asks Hinata for help. Hinata's like, no, you're actually going to school, so. You, you've got tons of time allotted every day just for learning. If you still can't do it, you're probably not just putting in the work. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, Hinata is saying that you're going to school. School is a place for learning. They are giving you an allotted time to study. So if, you, like, you know, if, if you're not actually putting in the work, that's why you need to study more. Like, you know what? I've actually... Like, I don't know, like, I've, I've seen people, like, give out this logic before as well. Like, you know, like, there, there was a person in my cl class, I think I remember, who used to say the same thing. Like, he, he was very good at, like, you know, like, uh, studying and everything. He used to bring a lot of marks uh, in the tests and everything. And he used to say that <laughs> school in itself was a time when I'm, I, I, like, you know, I, I, I gave concentration and learned everything. So back in my home i did not have to put put that much work while we we used to just joke around in our classes you know like have like you know talk with our friends and that's all we did we didn't concentrate enough in our classes and i think that's most of the people who did, did that like there are very rare amount of people who actually study during a class <laughs> <laughs> and then like you know we have like you know like we joke around in our school and then we when we go back and we're like oh my god we need to just learn so many things before the tests and all you know and it was a mess so yeah um that's basically what hinata is saying and and mari is like us i guess she she just like you know <laughs> doesn't pay attention in school in classes and that's why she's now struggling <laughs> oh boy anyways okay uh <clears throat> Then we, uh, you know, go to, uh, like, you know, we meet that girl who we met in one of the previous episode who was like their senior and, um, you know, like she takes them to, uh, okay, to the, uh, the place, uh, what is that, the, the, the lodge where the, the, like, you know, they're supposed to be like, you know, doing the tra training camp or the summer camp. And here's where they're going to learn what they're going to do in Antarctica, you know, like a pseudo training or whatever. Uh, not pseudo training, but a pseudo like simulation, simulation, or like you know, a, a thing that they're like you know, a little training that they're going to going to go through, which will let them uh, learn what they are supposed to and not supposed to do when they reach Antarctica. So they have like you know, obviously they have to study a lot of things and. You know like a lot of text based stuff they need to learn everything not only that a lot of practical lessons as well uh where they used to go uh, they need to like you know do stuff now here's one thing that i i'm not quite sure but i i think i've heard this i think antarctica is like a like you know like it's, it's like a place where different parts are like you know designated to different countries i think is that what it is because we can see here um the map it's called joint international expeditions under the antarctic treaty system okay countries participating in antarctic expeditions 29 wintering stations 20 primary base distribution okay we can see a lot of you know like different countries here all like you know allotted as different place um japan we can see you know like america india as well okay brazil all these different countries and like everything everyone's like uh a lo like you know allocated a certain section okay queen maud land antarctic treaty system antarctic peninsula dome fuji ross sea 
uh, um okay all these different things so yeah so i'm guessing there's like different spaces allocated for different countries something like that i'm not sure about this but it is something like that i guess okay now here we meet the captain her name is okay um todo gin antarctic expeditions captain todo gin and she is now obviously like you know we kind of knew that she is somehow related to shirasa not related but she knew her somehow or the other and uh, because in the previous episode we saw her seeing like a picture and uh, so yeah we already knew that she knew shirase and and shirase's like you know behavior also kind of gives that away she's like quiet and everything not talking much and uh, yeah and she talks about you know like the different you know, abcs of the whole thing like you know what you're supposed to do what you're not supposed to do okay this part uh this is like a few points number one i want to live number two i want to know number three i want to keep my team together all of these apply on an antarctic expedition no matter what you must survive and come home alive eagerly pursue knowledge and new experiences lastly never leave a member of your team behind okay so this is like the the motto or something like that all right um that was that okay then the next part we see them like you know like uh the uh, gin and the other girl like talking with each other and gin thought that the other girl actually like you know pulled some strings or something but she was like no she did uh you know like she also did everything on her own and yeah she 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 came here on her own like you know effort i didn't do anything and she said like i knew she was going to do this like you know one day or the other because she was so persistent and yeah finally she's here and they were kind of frankly reminiscing about uh, her mom i think and everything we still don't know what they're like you know like they, we do know like they're like high, high school to like you know friends i guess their mom and these girls and yeah it's like we, we still don't know what actually happened in antarctica i'm sure they're going to let us know in the future uh, you know what actually happened and all that stuff so yeah we'll have to wait probably for that anyways okay now the next part we see how they are going to do the training and everything they're like they have different compasses um gps transceivers all that stuff and <coughs> they're going to <coughs> put flags now the thing that um i think she she does say on one of the girls said is very true you know she said that uh in antarctica it's like every all the place is like you know filled with snow you won't be able to realize which way you're going so you actually need landmarks that's why these flags and they like you know they're they're going to do it in uh you know like there's like one flag here a few steps later another flag that's how they're supposed to like you know put the flags in and just move forward so that even if you lose the way you can see the flag and go so that's what they were training for and you know they had to use the compass the, the 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 thing that they were using you know to see which direction you're supposed to put the um uh, flags in and here we get to know uh, mari's hidden talent that is she's the compass girl <laughs> she can use the compass very well that's her hidden talent we get to know that <laughs> oh boy okay mm. and yeah and they were like you know noting down everything jotting everything down and uh, yeah and the others were you know the, the seniors they were keeping an eye out on them so yeah all right and then it's night time you know they are in the tent <laughs> mari is too excited to sleep she's like oh let let us talk let us talk and uh, oh they like you know they were like having fun uh, yuzuki kind of um miss uh, like you know miss miss said something like she said like shut talking or something like that <laughs> and they were making fun of her all that stuff normal stuff what friends do and here's where uh, mari asks the, uh, her the question that the, do you know the captain and she talks about how you know like her mom was like high school friends with her and everything and that's just it and she says how she came back her mom didn't come and all that stuff so yeah and 
Okay, and then they went out and there was like that routine check up. They kind of called you using the walkie talkie. I don't know what would have happened if they actually went to sleep. <laughs> like, thank God they were awake. I guess they would, they would have woken up from the, you know, from the transmission. But anyways, you know, they were uh, awake and they see the upper, you know, like the sky and everything. And I was just thinking, you know, like nowadays, like, you know, in, especially in cities, because of the light pollution, especially, um, we are not able to see the stars. Like it's very rare we are able to get to see the stars and everything. Like here, as we see, it's like, you know, full, the, uh, the sky is full of stars and it's so amazing. This scene can only be seen nowadays in probably villages or like a remote place where there's no lights that much or, you know, there's not enough um, pollution. And th that's the only places where you can see this scene. And also in Antarctica, you know, because Antarctica, there's like, you know, like, it's like, I guess it's like the most cleanest, you know, because there's, there's no people living there and uh, no light as well. So like light is the major thing that actually hinders you, like, you know, like light pollution, I'd say, say like so many lights in our city that, you know, like in the, the sky, like, you know, the stars aren't even, a we aren't even able to see the stars properly. So I was kind of thinking like, yeah, like skies, like, you know, nowadays are not like this at all. <laughs> you actually need to go someplace else with, like, you know, not enough population and everything to actually see stars like this in the night sky. <clears throat> Anyways, and they had like a nice time. Uh, in the morning, Mari wake up, uh, wakes up and she sees Gin, you know, just looking at the sunrise. And she was kind of like, you know, talking to her about how she knows her and everything. And Gin asks her that, like, why did you join? And that's where she says that I, at the beginning, I just wanted to do something, you know, with my, uh, like, you know, my, my time, my youth. And that's why I started. But now that I think about it after meeting all the girls and, you know, becoming friends with them, it is Antarctica. I'm going there because it is Antarctica and I want to go with them. That's why I'm doing this now. And uh, yeah, and then she just like you know, the, the sun was rising up. She calls all the other friends and she was like, yeah, we are definitely going to Antarctica and we're going to see the South Star over there. And yeah, that's the end over there. That's the end. And I'm guessing the next episode, we're probably also going to do a little more training and yeah, and after that, I'm guessing we're going to start on our journey. Who knows? But yeah, this is nice. So yeah, this episode, that was basically it. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, we, we just see how uh, the... Oh, and she, she told her mom. That's one good thing. She actually... I, I'm hoping she get, will get her permission if she actually passes all the tests. <laughs> if she doesn't pass, I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm sure she will pass. And... <laughs> yeah and and all the like you know like training and everything we see everything like them doing everything and yeah it's like they're also like bonding you know as friends it's nice to see that so yeah i'm looking forward to the upcoming journey so that was it that was this episode this was episode number four of a place further than the universe so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah, that's it. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of A Place Further Than The Universe. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.